this is the coast of Maine. Great many lobsters come from here. We men who live here are them, like my son Lou, and young Timmy, my grandson. Okay, hey, Tim, that's the last one for the old man. You want to work on yours now? I guess so. You sure you want to go out on your own? You make more money with me, you know. Yeah. If you go on your own, you'll have to buy your boat, fuel, gas. I still want to be a fisherman just like you. Okay, Tim, after being on this boat for two years, you should know there are easier ways of making a living. If that's what you want to do, why, well, go ahead. Where do you want to put your pork? Thought we put this bunch off the rock ledge near shore. Sounds right. I want to set them right in near the kelp. Then tomorrow I'll put some parts at the head of the cove. The tide moves in and out just like the current. This part about it? I think so. How about a little closer to the shore? Yes. I think that's better. Get your traps ready, Tim. Don't get them too close. Is that all right? Just about. Well, you're in business, so let's go home. When he was eight years old, he began working for his father. Most boys do that here. Now Tim is 12, and that's the age when boys on the main coast start fishing on their own. Tomorrow will be his first day alone, and he wants to make a record catch. I'm sure he'll catch a lot of love, just maybe over a lifetime. New Harbor, where we breakfast live. It's a small place, only about 700 people. All neighbors. Almost all fishermen, too. Mostly lobstermen. The men of New Harbor have been fishing since the town began, almost 300 years ago. That's the lobster wharf, where we sell our lobsters. Mr. Poultney runs it. And that's Timmy's friend, Billy Portnett. Billy wants to go lobstering too. But then what boy New Harbor doesn't? Hi, Timmy. Hi, Billy. Good day. Uh, so-so. Set your traps today? Some of them. What are the price of lobsters? 92 cents a pound. Guess more and more people are eating them. Wish we were catching more. That's okay, boys. I'll get them now. What you gonna do now? Get ready for tomorrow. You want to help? Sure do. 67, low. Oh, better than nothing. Timmy, make sure you get home time for supper. I will. My father says maybe lobstering's all done for. Because the pollution has got to the lobsters. My father says they're controlling pollution. They're not catching as many lobsters. Like that, some years. You don't suppose they're going away, do you? Kind of silly, I would think that. Maine's got the best conditions in the world for lobstering. Gramp told me. It wouldn't be the same without lobstering. What would we do? We're gonna have a big day tomorrow. Go and catch lots of lobsters, you'll see. You could use a good man to help. Want me to come along? Not on my first day. Maybe later? When you grow up. 
Hi, Mr. Bradford. Hi, Grandpa. Hi. You don't suppose the lobster's leaving, do you? I'm not getting many to war. Oh, I don't believe so. No, no, I don't think so. I bet you've seen other bad years, Mr. Bradford. Well, I'll say I have. I've seen all kinds in the last 65 years. We used to get pretty discouraged. Of course, it's been good years and bad years. When I was about your age, started in lobster fishing, someone got the idea of conserving the lobsters. So all the fishermen got together and formed an association. They called it a union in those days. And everyone agreed not to catch any of the small lobsters. To throw them all back and only save the big ones. Every time we caught one with seeds, or eggs they call them, we threw them back and marked them so no one would catch them afterward. And for years and years, they'd been on the bottom producing small lobsters and they'd grow up. That's the greatest thing that ever happened to the lobster fishing. Be careful not to hold that too tight. You might make that small, you know. Be plenty of a lot room for the lobsters to come in. You know, boys, when I was about your age, the first motorboats ever around these parts started with two of them. They both started lobster fishing. And everyone thought that it was terrible. Why, one old fella came into the war, he said, we got to do something about these motorboats. He says, they get them to fish in, there won't be a lobster left in the ocean. Well, he said, John can buy me and went across the river and hauled six lobster traps before I got over there. Why, if we don't get a bill through the legislature to stop motorboats from fishing, there won't be a lobster left on the whole New England coast. But they got more plentiful every year, and now look at the motorboats. And the lobsters are more plentiful than they ever were before. There aren't so many lobsters this year. Don't be discouraged. There's good years and bad years. Don't give up a good free life as a fisherman or anything else, as long as you can make a good, honest living. The lobsters will be back, I'm sure they will. I'm going to be a fisherman when I get bigger. Well, if you want to grow big, Better start home and get some supper. I ought to check my skiff. Oh, that'll be there in the morning. No one's going to steal it. Okay. Good night, Mr. Bradford. Good night, Grandpa. Good night. I guess I was like that, too. Boy, the sea, and Bobster. They never change. Never can tell about me and weather. You wouldn't go out if it was bad, would you? According to how, how bad it is. I wouldn't go out in a gale if a gale was coming. You never can fool the sea. Especially the small boat. Mine's good, Skiff. Can I see your license? Pay ten dollars for it myself. I hear they going up a hundred dollars. Gee. $100 for a lobster license? Yeah. I'm gonna have to work hard to make that. Uh, maybe if you're catching lots of lobsters, you can hire me. Maybe. I gotta get the groceries and the mail for my mother. I'll do it for you. No, they're my chores. Thought maybe Mom would let me off today. Mothers are like that. I'll get the mail. You wait here. Guess what? Tim Bradford's going lobstering all by himself for the first time. I wouldn't expect anything else out of a Bradford. You be careful out there, here. I will. Timmy's going lobstering today. You don't say. We certainly got a good day for it. Well, good luck, Timmy. Thanks. I'm going to get a big haul of lobsters today. Wouldn't you like a good steering man to go out with you on your boat? Your father wouldn't let you. He'd probably say I'm too small. You are. Hi, 
Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Mom and Dad. The lobsters will be asleep by the time you get there. Had to do my chores. Everything's done, Ma. This weather's pretty changeable, but I think you're going to have a good day today. Yeah. Hey, Tim, have you got your gas? Yeah. Your life jacket? Yeah. Bay needle? Yeah. Knife, pliers? Yeah. Good now. Well, I guess I'll be off. So long, Timmy. Good luck, Timmy. Good luck, Timmy. So long, Timmy. I'll be waiting for you when you get back. I bet he's going to catch a lot of lobsters today. I just know it. I hope there are some lobsters left for me when I'm ready. So Timmy Bradford, fisherman, begins his professional life. He's got a good day for it. The days won't always be like this. There'll be winter days when he'll freeze. But all the time you'll be fishing and on the sea, but now there are more traps to set out. The more lobster traps, the better the chance for lobsters. Then is awful proud of these traps. And these boys painted his own registered color. Now these are the traps that he set out yesterday with his father. May not look like much, but each one of these traps weighs about 50 pounds. That builds muscle. Looks like he has one. Seems short. Back in the sea with it, so it can grow up. I suppose Timmy will be running about 40 traps by the end of summer, before he goes back to school. With any luck, you'll do fine. There's another one. Too big. He'll get back to breed more lobsters. Well, it doesn't seem that Timmy's having too good a day. Two lobsters. That isn't much to show for a day's work. It'll just pay for the gas and a little left over. On the other hand, I didn't lose any money, and I'm on the sea doing what I like. But what will my father think? Mr. Paltney and Billy and everybody. I told him I was going to get a real big catch. Me and my big ideas. Hi, Tim. Need any help today, Timmy? Not today, Mr. Fultney. Lobsters today are 92 cents, Tim. We got four and a half pounds. Want a check? No, thank you. That's four dollars and 14 cents. There we are. Thank you. Well, better luck tomorrow. Head for a beginning. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of lobsters out there, and I'm gonna catch them. 